for today is how to be naive but in a mature way and seems sort of like an oxymoron and I can understand that because the two kind of seem like they're polar opposites but rest assured that there is some synergy between the two if equilibrium is obtained. Starting off with being naive, when you typically think of a human being being naive, out the gate usually the, the thought is a child, a baby, an infant. An infant is almost inherently naive only because they don't have the context to fully understand the actions that they're taking. And so they take actions and then they learn. Um, you know, and then they take more actions and then the goal is as they grow a little older and age that they learn from the things that they did when they were younger so that they could become better and obviously become good citizens in society and so forth and so on. Granted, you could live all your life in that state, in a naive-like state, and never matured in your learning. And so at that point, it don't matter what age you are, you know, you could be technically a 96-year-old infant. Now that I've explained the two extremes which appear to be polar opposites let's talk about how we can blend the two and be mature yet naive like as an adult many people are afraid to take chances or you know there's this term or phrase called calculated risk and that term is prevalent in the investment world where you seek to diminish as much risk as you possibly can can eliminate risk because you're not totally in control of the outcome but to use as much knowledge and wisdom as much as possible to diminish your risk such that you profit. There are things that we do or that we're capable of as adults that we may never walk into the fullness of because of fear. And the interesting part about fear is usually fear is one of those things where we don't have it as kids when we need to have it but then we have it as adults when we should be well versed in life as to such a degree that we can manage the risk or manage the fear but it often does not work that way fear often creeps in and robs us of our future and robs us of our capability or, or robs us of the possibilities I submit to you that if we operate in a naive way that boasts maturity, we can walk in some of those things that we otherwise may not have walked in. Now, let's set the bar so that we uh, describe the fullness of what I'm saying. As an adult, being naive in a mature way does not mean I get on top of the building and expect to fly. The way that the human body is constructed along with physics will not allow that to happen. I will experience a miniature form of flight before the inevitable happens.
the inevitable is you hit the ground or you hit whatever surface because the force of gravity will pull you down. So I'm not talking about naive in such a way that anything becomes possible, you know, or the expectation becomes outrageous and has no form or basis of where we currently are. So I must say that and get that out the way because I do want to define what I'm saying so that there's no misinterpretation. Now that we've talked about naive from a foolish perspective, a lot of the things that I've been able to accomplish are simply due to the blessings of God and well, along with genetics and my unshakable belief that we can be naive in a mature way. In terms of when we go to carry out an action or perform a task on our jobs or in our businesses, just because, for example, just because something has never been done, period, or just because something never was never done a certain way does not mean it's not possible. It just means that we need to strike up creative juices to see if it is in the realm of possibility, but if we're in fear or doubt, we, won't, we will not reach the place where we exercise creativity. And that's the main point. Coming to the gym, working your body, being creative, changing up content, becoming a better you so that you can inspire people to become a better them. It all takes a certain level of creativity because if, if one doesn't do this in a creative way, the course will become monotonous, boring or repetitious. So you have to stay in a creative space.